Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I actually uploaded a video and I'm not going to get too much into that in this video. If you want to know why I was gone, I'm actually going to put it in the description box because I really want to just get straight into this video. So if you haven't read the title already, I'm going to be reviewing the Wet n Wild Flights of Fancy collection. My sweet husband was amazing and bought me not only the box, but he also bought the rest of the makeup items that weren't included in the box. So with this video, I'm going to tell you my thoughts get a little bit into the collection itself what I think you should spend your money on what I think you shouldn't spend your money on so if you want to know my thoughts on this collection and all that jazz just keep on watching If you purchase the collection, all the proceeds will be sent to the Audubon Society in Los Angeles. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's a nonprofit organization that helps with protecting birds and their habitats. And all these proceeds will benefit the Allen Hummingbird, which is an endangered hummingbird in California, and it's going to help restore their habitat and just basically protect them, which I think is amazing. I love hummingbirds. So I thought that it was amazing that Went Wild was helping with animals, which I love animals animals have a special place in my heart so if you want to know more about the LA Adobin Society and what they do I'll actually put a link to the partnership and all that jazz down below now we got a little bit into the whole collection and the cause and stuff behind it we're going to get into the goodies that come with it so this is what the box looks like it has a hummingbird and it just says flights of fancy and it's really pretty and it has chevron and of course hollow this is just what the box looks like i really love how they added just the hummingbirds and like a tropical feel to the box but with the insert I've only gotten one of the boxes so far, and that was the Midnight Mermaid Collection. I did a review on the Midnight Mermaid Collection, so if you would like to see more about that and whether you should get it, because they did bring it back at Ulta, I believe, I will put it in the eye right here below and in the description box below. But the insert for this one is a little bit more luxurious and high-end feeling. It's kind of like faux velvet. It feels very nice. It looks very fancy. But with this box compared to the Midnight Mermaid one, which I have, it's just something else because I use it for storage it actually was plastic instead of the faux velvet which I think is a very nice touch to the box so in the box you get three color icon eyeshadow quads two mega liner eyeliners four color icon lip glosses three color icon big blushes a photo focus primer water and a lip scrub that is in the box and the whole collection you get the three eyeshadow quads the three blushes five lip glosses three eyeliners and two lip scrubs which I have all of that to show you guys I'm gonna swatch it and all that jazz and another thing that you get if you purchase the box you get a little collection pin which is so cute it's a little hummingbird and I think this is amazing I'm gonna add it to my lanyard but I thought that was such a cute touch and my husband had no idea that they were adding this into the collection box he just bought it when it first launched and bought the rest of the stuff and told me hey I bought you the box for you and I was like oh my gosh I love you so much and then when I opened it I was like you get a little pin in it so I was so like excited about that I know it's the little things people it's the little things so you get three eyeshadow quads you get one in flock party stop ruffling my feathers and hasta la costa baby on my eyes I'm wearing a mixture of stop ruffling my feathers and hasta la costa baby I've never actually tried the wet n wild eyeshadow formula the new formula they reformulated their eyeshadows and they now added matte colors which I thought was awesome I really like the formula on this there is a bit of fallout with the more shimmer shades I applied this color to my lower lash line and there was a bit of fallout but when I applied the blue that's on my lids right now with my finger there was no fallout warning the blue color will stain your fingers so just saying that the formula on these are really really nice and buttery and smooth the mattes are amazing I did find that the one from flock party was a little bit powdery but it still blended out amazing it's still buttery smooth it's still very pigmented which these are great because these retail for $2.99 which is amazing my favorite quad out of all of these for an everyday look would have to be stop ruffling my feathers it just has a nice brown transition color it has nice coppery pinky ivory tones in it it has a pop of color which is that really pretty pink and orange color but it's not too overpowering to where you can't wear it on a daily basis with these eyeshadow quads if you want to wear like the 
bright blue or even the bright pink you can totally apply it to your lower lash line and apply just neutral colors on the lid and it will look amazing and you will see that pop of color but it won't be too bam in your face so i totally think that these are worth it they're 2 dollars they blend out amazing there is a little bit of fallout but if you're very very careful and just wipe it off with a brush you will be good to go next in the collection are the three baked blushes which wet and wild has not done this before so this is a brand new product these are awesome. I love these blushes so much. They are shimmery, but they're not glittery. They're very pigmented, so you will need to apply a light hand. The one that I find to be the most pigmented would have to be Dare to Soar, which is that like the bright magenta pink color. But if you go in with a very, very, very light hand, you will see that it's a really pretty bright pink blush. Again, these aren't glittery. These don't feel chalky on the skin. They blend out amazing. The colors are beautiful. My favorite is Hummingbird Hype, which is the one I'm actually wearing on my cheeks. But these are really, really great. I think these are worth your money as well. They are amazing. And another great thing is that this retails for $4.99. The packaging is very similar to the Mega Glow highlighters. And I really hope that they bring out more shades with this because I love this blush formula. The Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes are my favorite favorite drugstore blushes of all time so i hope they bring out more of those we're now going to go into the liners so for the liners you get two matte and one metallic so with the two matte colors you get a beautiful green color which is called winged and wild a pretty peachy pink color which is called you are my wingman and for the metallic gold color it's called gilded wings so for the wet and wild boxes they always come out with metallic liners and all the ones that i have tried have not been that great as a actual liner but the one in this box is actually pretty good it's not that opaque over bright colors like this blue that I'm wearing but if you apply it over a nude shade it'll probably work out better than this I had to apply two layers to get it super opaque I did also decide to apply lashes which covered up the eyeliner and so I took the lashes off so if you're going to wear this I would suggest either not wearing lashes or wearing lashes to where you can see the eyeliner but it's a really great eyeliner and it's really good for detailing the other two colors are really pretty I love the green color it's amazing it makes the green on my hazel eyes pop so this is great and pigmented the pink one is very interesting it's like a not a bright pink it's more of a peachy pink color but I like it as well I haven't worn the pink one yet but I'm very excited to because it's a really pretty color I think the eyeliners are great but if you want one more for a wearable like for a day-to-day -day look I would suggest getting probably the pink or the green these retail for $2.99 as well so they're not that expensive so I think these are worth it it just depends on your personal preference and your makeup style we're now going on to the lip glosses which I'm excited for because I have not tried wet n wild lip glosses ever and I love the color selection so we have five lip glosses all these lip glosses are amazing I love these the packaging is so cute it has hummingbirds and tropical flowers it's very very summery these retail for $3.99 so they're not gonna break the bank they're not sticky they're not drying they don't really last a long time if you just apply it to your bare lips but they last longer if you apply it over a lip liner a liquid lipstick or even just a regular lipstick in the bullet they're not really runny but they're also not super thick like a MAC lip gloss is it's kind of like in the middle these are amazing they're super super pretty and actually I was very surprised because the three darker shades they're not patchy at all so you could totally apply it over your bare lip the two lighter colors however depending on how pigmented your lips are you might need to apply a lip liner closest to the color or apply one to two layers I don't have that pigmented lips so I only had to apply one layer of the lip gloss and featherless which is my favorite everyday lip gloss color but these are still really great so I really like these lip glosses it depends on your preference and your everyday style but I do think these are worth it they're four dollars that's amazing next we're going into the lip scrubs which I was so excited to find out that they were coming out with lip scrubs we have two flavors slash scents we have the watermelon one which is pe pecker up which is my favorite then we have a more citrusy orange one which is called citrus elixir the one that came in the box is the watermelon one and also I forgot to mention with the eyeliners the only ones that you get in the box 
box are the metallic gold and the green. And then with the lip glosses, the one that is not included in the box is the red one, which is Love Bird Fair. I'm so sorry I didn't mention that earlier. But all the quads are included in the box as well as all of the blushes. I've used these quite a bit. These are more denser lip scrubs, meaning that they are like packed in there very densely. So it might be a little bit harder to get a certain amount that you want. These smell amazing. I love watermelon so much. This smells like a watermelon jelly rancher. It tastes like a watermelon jelly rancher. And this one smells like summer. It smells like oranges and tangerines and grapefruits. And it tastes pretty good too. I do prefer the watermelon one so much more. So these retail for $3.99, which for some people then might not be the right price for it. You do get 10 grams or 0.35 ounces. I love these lip scrubs so much, especially the watermelon one. So if they did keep this in their permanent line, I would pay the $4 for this. It's great. It smells good. And my lips are super exfoliated, nice and soft and smooth after I use it. And it tastes really good. And it smells really good. And it's watermelon. Who doesn't love watermelon? I mean, if you don't like watermelon, they have an orange flavored and tasting one. So if you're looking to trying a lip scrub and you're browsing around wet and wild, I would suggest picking one of these up. I totally think these are worth it. So next we're going to talk about the Photo Focus Primer Water Spray, which I was very excited to see that they were coming out with a primer spray. The only one I've used before I've used this one is the Smashbox one, which I love. But with the Smashbox one, I feel like that one just hydrates the skin more, whereas this one, it's sticky. It does have glycerin in it, so your face will feel sticky, which if you're worried about that, don't be. It's a good thing. It means that your foundation and all your products that you're going to apply to your face face will adhere better and last longer onto your face. There are two downsides to this product. One of them is that it doesn't smell good. It doesn't stink. It just doesn't smell good. I wish they would have added something for it to smell tropical. You would think that since this is a very tropical themed collection that they would add something tropical to it. I mean, hello, look at the packaging. It has tropical flowers. You would think that it would be tropical smelly, but no. I mean, the name's even Paradise Potion. That's the only thing I don't like about this product. Another downside is that it does have alcohol in it. Alcohol is its second ingredient. Um, products with alcohol don't really irritate my skin or dry out my skin, so that is not a big issue for me. But it is, if that is a big issue for you, that might be something that you want to check out. So if you do have very dry, sensitive skin, you might not want to get this product. I actually have a backup because my husband ordered me another one. So um, I really enjoy this spray. It's really, really good for spraying onto your brush to apply pigments in. If you are looking into trying a primer water spray but you don't want to pay the $32 to try the Smashbox one, totally get this one. I think it's worth it. So my overall thoughts on the collection, I love this collection. I think that this whole collection is amazing. I do think that the one thing in this collection that could have been made better is the primer water spray. Uh, when I think of tropical and paradise, I think of tropical smelling things like coconut or pineapple or mangoes or something like that. But I wish that they had made the primer water spray smell amazing and I do wish that they didn't add alcohol to it because I do know some people personally who do have very dry and very sensitive skin and products with alcohol in them don't really go well with their skin so they can't try this. I think those are two things that Wet n Wild could have done better with this product but the other products I think are amazing. The eyeshadow quads I love. I definitely will be picking up more of them because I love how blendable they are. They're just great. They're $3 guys. You can't beat getting four eyeshadows that are pigmented. They are blendable. They're nice and smooth and buttery and they're beautiful. The blushes. I do seriously hope that they come out with more of these blushes. They're great. They are buttery smooth. They're blendable. They look amazing on the skin. They are not glittery so I do hope that they come out with more and some in matte. The lip glosses. They are amazing. They retail for four dollars. They're not sticky. They're not drying. They do, however, don't last as long as another lip gloss would, but if you just apply a lip liner, it will help make it last longer. The darker colors, I love how they're not patchy and they're opaque, especially the purple one. They're not sticky, which I love. I hate lip glosses that are sticky. The lip scrubs, love them so much. I love the watermelon one. It'd be nice if they just kept the watermelon one 
right in their permanent line because they're really, really nice. They smell really good. They taste really good. You're probably not supposed to eat them, but I mean, hey, you only live once. So overall, I think this collection is very, very nice and amazing. So I do suggest if you want to try all the products, I would get the box. So I hope this video helped you guys decide whether or not the Flights of Fancy collection is something that you are interested in getting. Again, the cause behind it is such amazing and the products themselves are really, really great. I love this collection. This probably has to be my favorite one so far. I did love the Midnight Mermaid collection, but there are some of the products in there that I felt weren't very wearable, especially for someone who doesn't wear bold makeup. And I haven't tried the Gothic Graphic one. I did hear that there were some great products in that one, but overall it wasn't a great collection. But I do think that this one is the best. There are some great products that I haven't seen Wet n Wild do before, and I think this collection is amazing. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. It will help you see more videos like this one. And I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.